listeners sa sa Aguilarin di mo may isa. And my name is so extremely tama daw. So, Nurezi, yes. what is our topic for today? It's about long purchasing and short selling. Wait, Nurezi, yeah. what is long purchasing? Long purchasing is where we buy a security such as stock, commodity, or currency that we were expecting that the asset will go up. Do you get it? Yeah, I get it. But the question is, how to buy the stock? It's easy. Let's see what we got. First, you need to open a brokerage account. Then, select your stocks. This is an example of a few stocks. For the third one, is decide how many shares to buy. Fourth, choose your order type. And you're now a stock investor. Let's move to another topic, which is short selling. So, short selling is... Stop right there. Short selling is when we're buying a stock in the short term, right? <laughs> what are you talking about, Nerez? It is absolutely wrong. Okay, sorry. It is still confusing me as a new trader. So, what it is? So, normally, in the real world, we will buy and then sell it. But... In the financial market, we can buy and then sell it, and we can also sell and then buy it. What do you mean? I don't understand. Basically, short selling is when the traders sell the stock to another traders and expecting the price will go down. And when the price decreasing, they will buy the stock again to gain the profits. Do you understand? Hmm, I get it. Seems like you didn't understand enough about it. Okay, you caught me. Okay, never mind. I will show a video so you will understand more about short selling. Sure, let's. Right. Let's watch it. Investor 1 once buy 100 shares from Dayang company cost 50 ringgit a share, but the stock price was too high. So, investor 1 contact broker to find 100 shares from another investor to borrow from them. Hello broker, I want you to find 100 shares for me to borrow. After a few hours, the broker found 100 shares from Investor 2 and contact Investor 1 to confirm for the borrowing. So, the broker informed the Investor 2 for the borrowing. Hello Investor 2, I want to lend your 100 shares to Investor 1. Can I? Then, Investor 1 sell the shares back to Dayang Company for 50 ringgit with 100 shares. After 2 weeks later, the price of Dayang Company decreasing about 25 ringgit. When Investor 1 found out about it and buy 100 shares for 25 ringgit. After that, Investor 1 give the shares back to the broker that Investor 1 borrowed them from and get 2,500 ringgit of profits. Eh? Okay, after we have learned today, we can conclude that Long purchasing is about buying the stock and expect that the price will go up and sell it. But the short selling is where we sell the stock and expect that the price will go down and we will buy it back. Mm -hmm. 
So the main reason for both of the topic is singing the fluffy. Okay. <laughs>